Hello YouTube, this is 007 Sonic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod Rage, and this time with a mod tool, a lot more simpler than modding Rage with the uh, hex editor. Just kind of gets confusing. But uh, start off, um, you want to make sure that before you get your game save, that it's an auto save, and to do that, you can just leave a town and then go back into town and it'll auto save the game for you and I don't think with this mod tool there's any other way of using a normal save so you're gonna have to auto save you wanna extract it to your desktop I already have one apparently so I'm gonna replace it and yeah it's on my other desktop um you want to open your Rage save tool and to get that you go to this website right here it's 360 Haven and I'm gonna put the link in the description to this here certain post so that way you don't have to go searching it up because I find this kinda difficult to find it's really far down the list but anyways it was made by a cello and you should thank him if you have a 360 Haven account, there's going to be a thanks button right there. That's always good. And what you do is go to here, the mega upload, and get the KV bin file, because you're going to need that. Then here you can get the tool. So after you've got that, you want to take your KV bin file and your rage save tool. It should be a rent, like a WinRAR zip file you just want to extract it there and make sure they're both like the KV bin and the tool are in the same folder otherwise this won't work now open the save tool and just go to file open autosave mm, find your autosave it'll automatically make a backup of the autosave on the desktop or wherever you have your game save in whichever folder and sometimes this can take a while to load up I usually just click it and it does this weird glitchy thing and then loads up also um, before you or actually no not before you but if you're gonna open up a save and then change it and then you don't like what it changed you want to change more stuff or something like that make sure you close out of this save tool and open it again because it has a weird glitch thing where it'll like I don't know how to explain it it'll pretty much keep you from no I don't even know how to explain it I might as well just stop talking pretty much you just close out of this and open it again if you want it to work but you can click max all and it'll max all this crap out but what I found is that night blossoms, desert spores, uh, foa infusions, blue shine vials and some other crap for some reason doesn't change like my steel tipped bolts I changed that to 999 I went back in the game it was like 200 and something and mind control bolts I changed out the 999 and went back to like a hundred or something like that. This I changed. I changed all this crap and um, some of it just never changed but since you have everything in the inventory that you'll need to actually make that type of stuff you don't really have to worry about it. You can just make more. But after we've done all that file save and resign and it'll say right here resigned then you can close out of this and go back into horizon and <coughs> actually you want to drag the uh, or since mine's not on the desktop that I'm using I'm going to have to go and find it but what you'd want to do is just drag your save over this and then into this blank space Okay guys, so what I ended up doing is I just went into my desktop and dragged it in here. Anyways, um, after you've dragged your save into here, you want to save, rehash, and resign. 
considering that save editor didn't say it was rehashing the save, all it said was resigning. I don't know what that's all about, but I usually make sure I save, rehash, and resign it a second time, so that way no problems happen. If you want to test it out yourself and see how it uh, affects your game save, as in black screen, screen not loading up, something like that, you go ahead and do that. I'm going to be on the safe side. Now, after you've done the rehash and resign, you want to inject your file, your save file back in there, overwrite it, and you're good. And that's all you do, and it's pretty simple. But I hope this uh, helped you guys out, and I'll see you next time.